Welcome to Extra Time Live, driven by Continental. We're back for another season, Dave. It's the like people New have Year's spoken. Day. I know. 2018, we're here. It now begins. You spent every Sunday night with us last year, or at least I assume so. Of but course. this year, it's a little bit different. But what are these? We have guests. Well, we have you told me that. guests. I'm sitting in an empty studio right now. What's, you told me there were. What's going on right now? I don't like, know. And then you that was on you. What is this? Just is that Charlie really Davies? Is, is, Whoa. Is Julie Stewart Binks doing Star the Star Power? Like? Guys, cut it out. We're going to get to the celebrations later on. Get in, leg? Leg? get in the studio. Come on. We're starting the show. Do the stanky leg. I don't have Do the stanky the leg. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Here uh -oh. they are. That was, <laughs> that was a little bit more. Like if I tried I don't to get know out what here that was. That, that's a little swaggier than I would have done that. Yeah. You know these two well. We're so excited to have them. Julie Stewart Binks, we'll start with you. Hey guys. Barstool Sports, you traded the sideline in. We miss yes, you, by the I way. I know. Yeah, it's definitely weird not being on the sideline. But, hey, that means I get to be here and talk about things. and <laughs> learn Soccer? The, yeah, talk about soccer. MLS. Other things. MLS. And yeah. learn the stanky leg, which I obviously did more of a Broadway. Right, that, right. Instead of my it. rendition you of it. How'd she do? How'd, was she it, nailed it. She it was good? It. He okay. said I was better than Stu Holden, so yes. that's huge praise. Thank you, like, better than Stu Holden. in Canada at the time. Uh, it still hasn't made its way there. Oh, so it's like 10 years Waiting behind. 15 the years stanky. later, that's like. when the They just got the macarena. Yeah. Uh, you yeah. know yeah. this man. You know this man right here. Charlie Davies just announced his retirement. You watched him for years in Major League Soccer for the U.S. national team in Europe. One of the trailblazers, I think. Thanks for coming, man. Congratulations. You know, we sadly yeah. won't see you on the field anymore, but I guess <laughs> next page time. Absolutely. Uh, it was time. I'm ready. I'm at peace. I'm excited for the future. Thanks for having me here. Are you excited that people will continue to bring back the stanky leg on you probably for the rest of your life? I hope. I hope to see yeah. it. <laughs> we'll never die. Did you yeah. know when you were doing those celebrations that that was what was going to be like the, the oh, Charlie Davies, I got that. Uh, no, and it just like con continued to kind of manifest itself into like being something bigger. Yeah. And just like one goal celebration. It's a runaway train now. Charlie is uh, not officially, but I've branded him as such a celebration consultant. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have <laughs> Charlie help the three of us come with our own goal celebrations very, very soon here at Extra Time Live, driven by Continental. But we want to hear from you guys, of course. That's what this show is all about. It's what it's always been about, I guess, in the, what, what year and a half we've yeah. been doing it? So let us know Forever what you want us means. to talk about all get in the time. comment section on facebook youtube tweet at us at extra time radio we've already got a question coming in right now james chelminski uh yeah he's talking trash on bobby warshaw we'll get to that in a little bit charlie what's I the best that. u.s national team goal of all time in your opinion in my opinion it is landon donovan's goal versus brazil in the oh, confederation yes. confederation's cup final um who was there for that i don't know i don't know who passed him the ball either yeah, like got it on the break um, and was just lightning fast it was just like you know the magnitude of the game it's a confederation's cup final almost like a world cup final you're playing against brazil and we get this counter attack and I play this ball with my left foot, Whoa. bend it around the defender. It was like a, a miracle ball. And Landon has this magical cut where he cuts the defender. I've never seen I've never seen a chop so done so well. And he just banged it with his left foot. And obviously it was 2-0 against Brazil. You know when you're like in a bar debating with friends and you're like, you need that trump card mm -hmm. like Landon or, or Clint? I literally had this debate that that was the best goal ever last week with Bobby. And then Charlie Davies walks in the room and agrees. <laughs> yes. I can't be you, wrong now. You just must remember every inch of that moment, just like every second. Every second. Play it over and over again. Yeah, it's a, it's a lovely memory to have. Yeah. Um, but nice. I will say this. There's two other goals. Stu Holden's goal versus Haiti in the goal cover, yeah, which was I was a filthy. part of. Top which corner. was top corner. Like um, 93rd minute, too, I think. Yeah, it was a late, a late equalizer. And I, I remember when he scored, I was so happy for him, but I was like, I ran to get the ball because I was like, we, the, yeah. we have to win this game. Yeah, like, sure. I don't want to tie this mm -hmm. game. And Benny Philhaber's goal versus Mexico in the Gold Cup mm -hmm. final. Well, we asked you as well what you thought your U.S. Uh, national team goal of all time was, and I think this guy might have scored one of them. Let's check those out now. I mean, for me, I think about the Slovenia goal. That's the emotional one, but the stanky leg at Azteca. <laughs> when you're doing that, when you're hearing probably the blues, probably the whistles, maybe dodging some stuff coming down, what are you thinking at that? Is this like out of body experience? Definitely an out of body experience, con con considering that it's, you're playing in Azteca, yeah. walking into a, a, the stadium and seeing plaques of Pele and Maradona and the the history that you know was was played in this stadium, and all of a sudden 
I'm getting a ball from Landon and I'm sprinting towards the goal and I just bend it around the keeper. And once I see it hit the back of the net, I'm like, did I just score? Yeah. Yes. This is like <laughs> yeah. my childhood. This was my childhood dream, like to play against Mexico and score against them. How loud and were the boos at that point? It was silent. Oh, and most even of, better. Most, yeah. of, most of the people, like uh, all the players were like, we've never heard Azteca silent like that. And then I saw batteries flying towards my head. <laughs> is that like, and, you see them and, small and then they start getting bigger? And like, or? I'm talking like double, like D batteries. <laughs> were, they, were they in the bags of like urine and blood? I, I heard Both. about that. Uh, oh. Bags of urine um, and I don't know what else was in these bags, but batteries for sure, coins. And I looked around and no one came to celebrate with me. So I was like, maybe I, I should. I gotta get out of yeah, here. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I gotta get back over to the to our side. But um, at, at the end, I asked guys, I said, well, you guys weren't happy for me? I just scored, <laughs> scored an Azteca. They saw and they're the like, batteries. A little too close to like, the yeah. one, one, you saw the batteries that were coming <laughs> yeah. down. But two, it's tiring. Yeah. We don't want to waste any energy. We don't have to. Just get over mm -hmm. to the side. So um, it, was a, it was a great experience. I'm going to throw out, and we saw some fans do the same, the goal against Slovenia that Landon scored. Mm -hmm. The top shelf, top shelf, tight angle. You're like, how's he going to do it? He's going to put it back across. And then he just bears down and rifles top corner. And then I'm going to throw out Clint Dempsey. For me, in person, in Brazil, watching him to start the World Cup against Ghana, like in the first minute, do that. That was one of those feelings where you've been waiting and waiting and waiting, and there's so much buildup, and you don't know how it's going to go, and then all of a sudden, just kind of the house comes crumbling down. Mm -hmm. That, for me, probably in person is mine. Throwing so out the old school one, Eric Winalda, 94 World Cup, Switzerland, free kick, really tough location, puts it in the perfect corner. What, it's the opener of the World Cup. The U.S. has never done anything in a World Cup. You're hosting now. So for a moment, I think Landon's up there, the Algeria one's up there, the Brazil one you mentioned, obviously yours, and Mexico as well. But that one has to go up there um, and be in that conversation. And the Benny Failhopper one you mentioned. like Also Jermaine Jones, Portugal. Oh, yeah. What a strike. Yeah, uh, it. It's Portugal. <laughs> You're seeing Cristiano Ronaldo, all this hype around the game, and he comes through with this, this banger, which I and thought it, we all I thought I just want to throw it out there, Cristiano the Ronaldo did yeah. come through with something at the end of that game. We're oh. coming up with a oh, lot wow. more Bring right up here, bad memories. Thank we got you. some heads up coming up for you, MLS heads up. You have to stick around for that. And some extra special guests that I don't want to give away just yet, but you're going to find out in one second. We got some hot takes, more of your questions. We're going to have Charlie, as I said, help us out with our celebrations. He tells me he already knows what he has for me, which – Kind of scares me, kind of excited. I don't know what to make of it. Uh, so we'll get to that in just a and second. And yeah. you guys, send us your questions, comments. You can tweet at us. Send, send, send. Jump into the comment section. And also, Whoa. my answer to that last question was Landon Donovan against Algeria. There you go. I just wanted Where to jump you? in. Where were you? How did you <laughs> But you're not an American. Are you allowed to jump in? I know. In? I like kind of have this weird identity crisis, I guess, as a can-American. I've never seen, I like that. I've never seen Canada in a World Cup because... 86. I was born in 87, and um, but now as a permanent resident in the United States, I thank yes. you guys. I can't Welcome get deported GSB. as easy. Uh, is that I it's obviously good. saw the 2010 World Cup, that Landon Donovan goal, Landon Donovan in general. But I would say, not on as big a stage, but Clint Dempsey against Honduras last year, after coming back from having heart surgery, uh, yeah. just everything, and having a hat trick was sort of like a really cool moment to see whenever you can kind of bring, as you would know, sort of a personal story of adversity and being able to triumph. It's so feel good. Let me ask this question. World Cup or anything like that, USA women's and Canadian women's. That's Canadian a toughie. Women's that, oh, in. man. Oh, that's where I sweat. Um, London 2012. I will never forget. As a Canadian. Rooting for Canada. Yeah, of that was tough. Just Just seeing with Christine South. Sinclair would, crying after that. I would throw was, Carly so. Lloyd's. Yeah, yeah, that's a big one. <laughs> yeah. Also, oh, yeah. Box yeah. versus Brazil. Well, by the way, shout out to Chris on YouTube, who's <laughs> looking for a new set of tires. And given that Continental is hooking us up with this very special set and the likes of Charlie Davies and Julie Stewart Bings, I think I can safely say you should go do that. We're going to play Heads Up. Let's do We're it. We're going to do that. But, but first, we have our special guests who have to set the marker for us. They will see. Who sets the score that I think Charlie and I are going to beat easily? Let's go to that right now. Wrong. I said special guests. I meant it. Fox Sports here in Mass. Rob Stone, Alexi Laws, Fernando Fiore. Yeah. And it's time. It's time to test yeah, yeah, yeah. yourselves right. against Charlie, myself, Julie, and Dave. This right. is MLS Heads Up. All right, buddy. You bring the card up. He guesses. <laughs> Same team. Don't say the word. Otherwise, we're going to throw that one out. 
Uh, you know what? Get the timer going. Anytime you're ready, Rob. Are we ready? All right, yeah, ready? I'm ready. Okay. Okay. Get set, go. All right, it's what we uh, it's what we give each and every day on air. What's what I give, and then people Love yell, and then people yell at you. Uh, it's Love? a flame. There's flames uh, on an emoji. Hot take. There you go. Nice. Okay, I, I go. All right. El uh, El Pascadito. Carlos Ruiz. Nice. Pass. Oh. It was also spelt incorrectly. Uh, one, one of my one of my good friends. Uh, I I was involved in bringing him and signing him many many years yes. ago. He calls me constantly. Uh, loves me. <laughs> no, with the galaxy. I was involved in signing him. Uh, oh, David Beckham. Yes. Oh. Now your turn. And that's my turn. Pescadito was easy compared. Uh, yeah. Game one at the Silverdome of the 1994 World Cup. Boom. Wow. Time, that's it, that's Ooh. it. Oh, well, that's oh, it? Wow. That's all I have, 45 that was, seconds. That was your thing. Oh. Tires, man. Uh, what was it? Continental tires. Continental tires. Continental tires. Continental tires. Thank you, Continental. Thank you. Continental. Thank you. What was the pass? What was the pass? It's Boniac Twins. The Boniac, Boniac Twins. twins. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's a little difficult. Wait, we could have got that one. Can we talk about right. everything about Fox Sports? Beckham? Was Alexi related? Yeah, I know. Yeah, <laughs> was a we made that easy for you. Mark, you guys are here for a reason. Yeah, I know. He calls me all the time. <laughs> yeah, that was the biggest That threw him off. Yeah. That was the biggest lie. Oh, goodness. I know, I heard that too. 100 days till the World Cup. Ah, yes. We're excited. That's why you're in New York City? How do you feel? Have you prepared? Is your Russian up to snuff? No, yes. a Russian is yes. Yes. It's definitely not up to snuff. But while this is just an incredible My setup that you I don't have know what here, camera to look at there's so many of them out here. There's only one thing that could possibly top this in terms of production value, and that would be a set right in Red Square, my friends, well where we will all oh, be well bringing you all of the action uh -huh. from start to finish. Uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's. I mean, we're we're getting jacked up about it. I hope that everybody else is. And so we've been in New York, running around, doing everything, and making sure that people understand it's 100 days and it's going to go like that. So 100 days till it starts, but by the way, 99 days till a lot of people uh, hit the day that maybe really matters in the U.S. where we find out if the 2026 World Cup is going to be hosted in North yeah. America. And that will be televised live by us. So it's, it's 100 days till we kick off, 99 days till a really important day for MLS and for U.S. soccer from the top of MLS all the way down to AYS. What are we and most excited about? Uh, potato vodka. That's 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 evergreen. Though. Yeah. Yeah. Really, in any year, vodka is good uh, for, <laughs> for me. What am I most excited about? I've never been to Russia, so I've been all over the world. It's one of the few places I haven't been. Growing up in the '70s and '80s, and what Russia meant yeah. to us, and big bad Russia, and all that kind of stuff. So I'm just excited. Uh, as much as we talk about the players, and we will, Neymar and Messi and Cristiano, and all those different things. One of the biggest stars, I think, is going to be the country. And I, I know you've been there, yeah. and you got a chance to see it at, in the past. I've never had a chance. You just so, need to know one word. What's and that's that? Basiba, which means thank you. Yeah, thank you. Basiba. Yeah, and yeah. Yes, Basiba. Basiba. I was going to go with Comrade. Yeah. We'll work on we'll work <laughs> that a little bit. <laughs> Fernando, the tie, please help me out uh, here. Because well, this is, is uh, I love what you guys are doing yeah. here. But Fernando. This is, uh, wow, what a memory. Uh, Peter Max, 1994. That was my second World Cup. This is going to be my eighth one. Wow. Uh, on TV. <laughs> I got a couple one that I was like a fan in 1978, rooting for Argentina. This is going to be completely different, and this is going to be fantastic. Uh, we're talking about 100 days from here till then, and then we're going to have a month, a full month of game after game after game after game. And then at night, if you don't have a chance to see the games during the day, uh, then at night we're going to have a, a great show. <laughs> World Cup tonight. <laughs> uh, it's a great show because Alexi Dalla will be there, Rob Stone will well, be there. But, uh, 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 it's gonna be it's gonna be fantastic. Uh, we gonna we have some music. Uh, DJ uh, Rudenko. He's a uh, he's a uh, he's a great no, DJ no, from no, Russia. Moscow like DJ Rudenko. But, uh, <laughs> but hey, this hey, is uh, so cool to be with you guys. I'm, yeah. I'm so excited to be here. Although I wish we could actually face you and not have this. Yeah, we're stuck here. No, 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 don't move. Don't move a set. No, don't move the pretty set. Exactly. Don't look at the pretty people. All right. Do you want to go again? You got four. I'm told in my ear that you could have a bonus round one. If you want yeah. a bonus one? Do it. Go. Go. Are you ready? Get well, set. Get the clock ready. We good? Go. We okay. Uh, Marco Echeverri, his nickname. El Diablo. Damn right. Wow. Oh, oh. Best left foot in the league. This is Old a tough one. Specky. One name. And wow. his move. Not even a his question. move. I cut I'm you. Give it to you. I that was a tough you. one. Yeah. Yeah. I cut you. Um, the what what was the pinnacle for Major League Soccer in uh, two? It would be a year, two years ago, a year ago, not last year's, but the previous year. Yes. MLS Already, Cup. Yes. There Overtime. We go. Oh, but what year? To, to not last year, but the previous year. Twenty sixteen. Thank you. There you go. Thank you. I'll, I'll do. I'll do one more. Yeah, yeah. 
Um, this uh, is the tag four. Snowfro. Valderrama? No. Um, uh, Jermaine yeah. Jones. Let it go. Jermaine Jones. <laughs> Jermaine Jones. White falling the in Snowgate. Colorado. The Snow, Snow Classico. Snow Classico. Right, We're doing we'll more. Give it to you. We're That's doing it. one more. All right. What the God. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. These are I wanna, I'm gonna do it. All right. Gonna be. Okay. It's a, it's a, a, a tactical type of setup that we've talked about before in terms of how you set up where you don't actually BGA play BGA with a guy up top. Yeah. It's a guy that, it's a guy that's withdrawn. It's a name that we give it. When you're not playing with a number uh, ten, uh, with, you're playing with a, uh, a false. Uh, yeah. False yeah. ten, oh. uh, false eleven, no. nine, Thank you. seven. They came, they bent the rules a little bit. They conquered. Hey, hey, hey. Rob Stone, yeah, Alexi right. Loss, Fernando Fiore. Right. Check them out this summer on the World Cup, guys. Thank you for joining us now. Thank you. Charlie and I versus Dave and Julie. Can we match them? Let's do it. No way. So excited to have them here, and they've set a marker for us that Charlie and I are obviously going to blow right out of the water. Yes. So, no nine points, no which mm, there's a little bit of stretch in, right. there's some gifts Let's there go. that Rob and Alexi got. Dave, Julie, you're nervous, it's not going to work out for you, you have 45 seconds, and get the clock ready, and go! What do you got here? What do you got, Julie? Adidas, cleats, alien verse. Oh, uh, Predator. That's good, alright, I liked that one. Um, there's a guy that works here who's kind of hipster, and he has <laughs> a funny ha hair. Um, works here? Yeah, he works oh, at MLS. Yes. He used to play Stephen for uh, Triple oh, Houston. Oh, my gosh. Um, could have, could he so easy. Is yeah. got, so easy. He, his, his name has... <laughs> Kalen Carr. Yeah, uh, but his, um, mm -hmm. something that he wears his on his head. There yeah. you go. That's Over two. under. Works so here, three, like, maybe. <laughs> um... It's a sports cliche you know you that pass. everyone says that. Giving it 100%. Similar to that, but it's like we don't want to get ahead of ourselves. <laughs> oh, so we're going to take it. <laughs> one, day, one game at a time. Perfect. Oh, well done. Okay. Well done. Uh, it is okay. a, a new U.S. Time, 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 Woo! time. That was finish it, though. You can finish it, though. You can bring it up. Okay. We can I just want to see. Round. I want to see. Okay. New USL team <laughs> that they give players. Um, Las Vegas Lights? Yeah. Rob, Rob Stone rules in effect right now. Nice. So what we're giving you? We got four. We're yeah, giving you four. four. All right, Charlie. That was not good. That, that was, was, that was first try. First For that try. Yeah. First one. That's a push. Apologize to that was a push. <laughs> I feel good. Sorry, Kalen. Uh, first, before we get going, just to give us some time to settle down, we yeah, have a question that's breathe. come in about nice. the Rebs. No. Uh, folks wondering here whether this team is going to be <clears throat> worse than last. Ed in Hartford, what do you think about this year? You can see right here, not really a hot take. He says, worse than last year. Why was it row in the starting lineups? What do you think about the Rebs this year? The only explanation that Kellen was not in the starting lineup has to be that he wasn't performing well in preseason and in training. Given that, he's still one of the most talented <laughs> yeah. players on that team. Um, I think they'll be better than they were last year. I think Brad has the experience. He'll get it together. Does that mean a playoff team? What do you guys think? Playoff team? I don't think they'll be in the They're playoffs. On the they were seventh last year, seventh the year before that. I think they can only go up. I do have a yeah. lot of <laughs> – There's no <laughs> way to really yeah. saying a yeah, lot. That's true. Um, I do have a lot of faith in Brad Friedel, getting to know him, getting to know his mindset, what he had done with some of the U.S. teams that he coaches. He has his fingers in all different pies around the world. So whatever that means, I do believe he is going to be able to make this team as good, good as it is. And I, I do think what you said about Kellen Rowe, if he's not in that starting line, Lineup, it's because of something to do with Kellen Rowe. Yeah, absolutely. Elephant in the room, we win, though. So we'll see what happens with them. I'm getting like butterflies right now. Go, oh, guys. yeah. I am so oh, ready so for this. Center yourself. Yes. Center yes. yourself, Charlie. Who's yeah. going first? I'm going up first. <laughs> yeah. All right. No, I'll, let me go up first. All right, you're going up first. All right, get okay, the... I'm going to count you in. All right, I'm going to count, count you in. Here we go. You guys ready? Yeah, we're ready. On your mark, get set, go. Uh, Graham Zussi, Rolf Felcher, weird haircuts that yoga instructors have. Pass. Oh, what? man. Yeah. It was mullet, huh, wasn't no. it? Uh, what do you got? Come right on, now. Charlie. We talked so much trash. Right pass. All right. Uh, it's when a bunch of guys get around the referee. It's the technical term you get fined for it. Uh, storming the referee. Yeah. No. Crowding uh, the referee. Um, the referee. Uh, yeah, it's like that. It's yeah. A, uh, another word for a fight. Two words. Oh, God, it looks, oh man, we're struggling, we're struggling here. We talk too much. Yeah. Um, it's uh, a competition now, and if Gold Cup, Major League Soccer, U.S. Open Cup, CCL. Yep, and, yeah, but it's uh, when you, you have a cold. CCL fever. Yeah. 
Gold Cup? Uh, it's a move that you, it's a pass with um, a certain part right. of your foot. Rabona? No. Time's Time's foot. Last one. Last one. Finish. Part of your, it's part of your foot. It's not the front, though. It's the... Instep. Uh, no, it's, it's not the front. Back it's the, heel. Yes. Wait. Oh, man! I want to I want to redo it. Go over. We're going to have... Well, oh, looks gosh. like uh, we did pretty well compared that's to That's round you one. You guys... That's, that's round one. We're going to get one? on to round two. two? Yeah, it's we got two, more it's, rounds it's coming. They got two. They got two. Um, technically, two. technically two. What does so, technically mean? So <laughs> technically, we got two. Where's it at here? What did, what did I... Oh, my God. A, those are so good. Also... It was man bun. Graham Zussi, Rolf, oh no. And then Matt's I really like that you said instep. That was very technical. Yeah. yeah. All right, Cameron Crump here. When Kellen Rowe plays center back next week for the rest <laughs> yeah. I mean, somebody's going to have to because Claude Dielna's out, suspended. It's amazing. And Antonio De La is suspended. It's amazing that another year on, this team feel like that game felt like last year and two years ago, Rest. Yes. Uh, How does that happen? Like, it's a, it's a new system, new coach. Um, a lot of new players trying to figure out how to be used right, uh, where to be used. I think you need a, a number nine who has speed with the way they play. If Lee's not on the field who keeps possession, then I think Juan Agadello is not used in the right way. Uh, Juan, is a pl Juan Agadello is a player that needs, uh, I think, a two-striker system is where he really benefits because he, he's a player that likes to float around. He's good in possession. He doesn't really have the speed to get in behind. So, um, so you're saying they should sign Charlie Davies to go up there? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm, out. Yeah. I'm done. I, I saw your Instagram, uh, man. Yeah. You, were, you were flying this <laughs> The rumor season. boards are All light right, right yeah. now. We embarrass ourselves a little bit. We're going to recover a back little here. Bit. Yeah. It's your turn. We can Gave you a Listen, this doesn't okay, matter. Okay. It's about Alexi it's, and Rob. It's about, this doesn't matter. They're not even right. in the our right. show. You have five right. seconds here. Yeah. Five, four, we'll three, 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 two, one, go. Uh, he plays for NYCFC. Great goal scorer, Spanish. W. Oh, my, oh my God. This, that's a layup. What? Um, Brad Kuzan, um, Tim Howard? Brad Friedel, they all have this with their Bald. hair. Yes. Bald head? I will give you that one. Yeah. You <laughs> Um, uh, it's a show on MLS that they do where they break down how you score a um, goal. And then when you have like the human body and you, uh, a tough one. A, and, you're, a, and you're trying to show how the body works, it's, I'm called, throw it out it's there. a scientific Passes term. Passes work are yeah, there pass. for a reason. Okay. <laughs> no, let them take the time. That's true. Uh, we're going against Alexi and this guy. Rob Stone. And what's he, what does he wear around his, his blazer? Uh, uh, like that, but... His jacket? Okay. No. I was told it was good. Oh. Um, du Bois and what he likes to do on social media. Oh, um, post about his girlfriend. Uh, his, oh. his, uh, <laughs> Take pictures <laughs> of, of himself. Yeah. So, okay, yeah. that's your last one. That's your last one. No, you ran out of time. Put yeah. it down. Yep. Put the down. card down. Woohoo! <laughs> Time's up. How many did we get? Down. We, I, I, mean, I don't know. Well. I was did like, we get eight? I think you got... I think that's, that's like seven or eight. I love how he's just like, yeah, you... Yes, and we they, are. And they Wait, were, we are, I am being told that we are being given credit for Sebastian Legette's selfie. Yeah. You would. No, oh, so yeah, you, you need right. every break now. Okay. You need every break. How every, no, you guys got one. No, 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 we got, some, we got yeah. some ground to make up, yeah. okay? Hey, listen. <laughs> we got a question coming in for Charlie right now. Anatomy of a goal. Nancy Pierce asks, Charlie, of your former teammates, who would you choose to, one, be your personal stylist, two, your financial advisor, and three, be in the rainforest if you're trying to survive? Who's number one? Who's the personal stylist? One, I'm going to go with Jermaine Jones. He is a fashionable fellow. Yeah, I, I like I like Jermaine. Okay, style. how about the financial advisor? Financial advisor, I'm gonna go with Scotty Caldwell. Good call there as well. <laughs> and you're stuck in the jungle. You never know when you're gonna get out of there. You gotta survive. Who helps you? I feel like Jermaine Jones comes back into play now. <laughs> no, Aguchi and Yewu. Oh. He's got he's got like he's survival like, skills. Oh, he, he's also a juggernaut. Like he's gonna fight yeah. whatever yeah. it's gonna. He's gonna you know? Like leopards and panthers. Leopards, panthers. Yeah. I think I heard something out there. <laughs> yeah, go, there go. go, man. You check it out. <laughs> All right. Are you guys, guys ready? Down here. I'm gonna put it up first. Yeah. Okay. Down. You know what you're doing. <laughs> Three, two, one, start. Uh, Quatomic. Blanco. Uh, it's a sort of a free kick. You should put it in the box, but sometimes you don't, and then it usually doesn't work. It's like a little pass right out of the. Um, it's like a free kick scenario. Ball goes. Uh, New England did it all the time. Uh, just yeah, move on, move on, move on. Um, you made a lot of these. You score a lot of goals this way. You want to get in front of your Through ball. No, you want to get in front of your defender. The cross comes in. You get in front. Kai Kamara did it this weekend. Header. Um, Diving header. No, uh, no. You get a header at the end of it. Okay. Make a. Uh, yeah. Uh, you guys should just be called Team Pass. What? This is no pass, pass, pass. <laughs> um, uh, Sydney and Dom, Dom have this. It's a it's baby. A, it's a child. person. Yeah, what's his name? Uh, 
Who knows? Uh, yeah. Mohamed Ali. Yes, 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 yes. Nice. Wow. Uh, Montreal defensive midfielder starting, retired. Yeah. Uh, Patrice Brunier. Yeah. All right, that's it, that's it, that's oh, it. Oh, we did better, but not as well as I hoped. <laughs> All right, we're really? going to get to this. We're going to play angry. another round later. We're going to play another round Wait, what was the one there. that you said absolutely no way on? It was March to the Match. Uh, That's dead. It's dead and gone. <laughs> Extra Time Radio is what you should be listening to right now. Oh, oh we got eight, We got though, more. So we're we going to get back. Tied. So we tied. Uh, we're the. Someone needs to right, call us. We got a tag board here. Eric that. Goble says, hey, uh, guys, the teams that many consider to be the best in the league paired, paired poorly this weekend with many losing. We're talking Toronto FC. We're talking Atlanta United. Is this post success hangover, lack of respect? Poor preparation or just simply bad days, Dave? Toronto FC, Atlanta, some of these results that went ways we didn't so, expect. What do you so, attribute so to? So two of the big ones, maybe not a big one, but Toronto FC and Seattle, mm -hmm. are that their most important games are tomorrow night in CCL, yes. right? That was their focus. It wasn't this week exactly, and CCL throws your preparation off. I can't explain Atlanta. I mean, some of what they just said feels like Atlanta, like they bought the hype a little, mm -hmm. and Houston was ready to fly. Yeah, I believe that too. I mean, I was surprised, of course, to see TFC lose, but um, not surprised. If, I mean, I guess I was more surprised to see Columbus win <laughs> yeah. and see Jossie Zardes as though he was – it was two years ago. Um, I'm not sure whether or not he can keep that up. I like seeing that he sort of found his way again. But what was it? There's some stat that if he, the teams that have lost their first yeah, yeah. opening MLS Cup game, winner the last four years did not win their opening game. They didn't there even score go. a goal. My so, point exactly no problem. is LA Galaxy for years with Bruce Arena <laughs> would just take the, the first part of the month, uh, first part of the season, pretty easy, and then come in storming hard towards the end of the but, year, come in hot for the playoffs. And the league has changed. It's mean, harder anything. to get in now. There's more teams. There's yeah, more competition. But it's a but long still. season. Yeah. And, and, and if you're going to give up games, you give them up in the beginning of the year. But if you give up games, you probably don't win the Supporters' Shield. Toronto FC, their whole season last year was all about that. Every single game we are on. We've got a question that came in from Nathan in Trenton, New Jersey. He said he heard all of our Supporter Shield predictions on Thursday's Extra Time Radio. Make sure you go check that one out. We all love TFC. That's the way that these things go. Yay, he says Toronto. he doesn't know about that. <laughs> NYCFC. He says they get it this year. I think year. so. I agree with him. I think NYCFC I think them gets too. it too. This is why we're the best team. We're the best team. Oh my God. This is why we got eight we're points. We created a monster. Yeah. We created a monster Absolutely. here. Do yeah. you think that Toronto takes their foot off the gas in the regular season? Um, I think right now having them see, seeing them lose that first game, once you lose it, it's like so easy right. to lose it again. You know, like last year it was, you cannot lose at home. You cannot lose. And then now it's like, oh, okay, we've done that once. All right. It's maybe not that easy to essentially win every game. I think, last I year think so they hard. get it going. They, they, you have Jovinko, you have Josie, you have Michael Bradley. Victor but, they, but they don't yeah. go. But they won't go until later on in the season. Like they know how like difficult it galaxy. was. Yeah. It's the same story every year, right? <laughs> the team that peaks at the right time. Just be in contention. Just don't yeah. be yep. the worst. Be how, like just kind of good. How and big a go. hit can CCL be? Either if they win and then the excitement around that, or lose emotionally. How much can that hurt them this year? Oh, I think the, it could be huge. The excitement and and if they win, that that's major not only for themselves but for all of MLS and 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 now we have a team playing in the Club World Cup like that's huge I, I hope that that happens and they have the talent to make that happen if they lose I still think they turn it on when they need to and and you'll see them in the playoffs. I think they'll be fine yeah uh, we have a question from Mashaika. Uh, what do you think about NYC performance against Sporting KC I'll start off with this one I think Kansas City have got to find a way <laughs> to score the ball to like be threatening mm -hmm. On the attack, this is the same old story for them. They win the expected goals, they create pressure at home, they have the ball, they create chances, it doesn't happen for them. But I think NYCFC, with the moves that they made, they lose Jack Harrison. I think they're actually better now. They have more depth in those wing positions, and that was the issue of the last part of last season, Jack Harrison included. They didn't have enough production from their wing players, and David Villa can't do it all alone. But He's still just the man. Yeah. He's my MVP pick for this yeah. year. If he stays healthy, he's going to produce. He's going to so have impressive. like 30 goals overall. It's <laughs> he's yeah. he's yeah. just so impressive. And I remember getting a chance to play against him when he was with Spain. And you 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 don't really get a chance to appreciate did you players. Beat him? We did beat them. But you don't, get a, you don't get a don't get a chance to really appreciate players until <laughs> you actually play against them and you see their movements and you see how their touches and their awareness and. He's second to none as a striker. Who's your number one guy that you saw live and like were blown away by or impressed by or, or idolized? Xavi. 
and 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 it's a decent that's a, one. that's yeah. a, it's not bad. a I'm a striker. Right. You know, yeah. Normally, you'd be I'd you know say someone who's you know Messi, seeing him in Copa America and Raquel May, very imp- they're both very impressive. Raquel but May. Xavi for me, no matter how I tried to pressure him and take the ball away from him, and I'm like I'm so much more athletic than this guy. He's small. I'm I'm gonna breeze by him. He would always find make the right decision or make the right touch. The whole a little game. bit like you know, like a matador. Like yeah, right here, man. Yeah, I got you. Come, Come get, get it. it. Oh, I'm gone. You're on that side. Always We've got yeah, a always question coming ahead. in right now about young players. And if you watch X Time Live or listen to X Time Radio, you know we love the hype trains. Uh, DJ Jones, he wants to know <laughs> from you, Charlie, which young players at your last club impressed you most? We is saw two from yes. Derek Jones. Is that, is that you, Derek? Yeah. Is that Jones you? Are you watching the show? Jones, that'd be awesome. Derek got on the field in this game. <laughs> Anthony Fontana got his first goal in MLS, the 18 year old number 10. And then Austin Trusty on the back line. It was a good day for the Union. It's a great day for the Union youth. Uh, I, I loved seeing uh, Fontana go in and, and make an impression first first day of the uh, first season first game of the season and Derek Jones has always been someone who has an immense amount of potential he's 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 got this presence in the midfield if he can learn to play a little bit quicker we'll definitely be seeing him in the future with the U.S. men's national team ironically that's what Brad Friedel told me last year I was so impressed with Derek Jones and now it's sort of uh, weird, I guess, for him to sort of be on the other side of the coin. Um, But Charlie, I'd be curious to ask you, was that kind of the Philadelphia Union dominance we could see? Or is that just overhype them playing an opponent that's not necessarily at the same caliber as them. Nine, <laughs> nine players on the field yeah. part of this game. It's, it's a little bit of both. Mm-hmm. I think the Revs have a lot to figure out. Obviously, they weren't at full strength when you have Kellen on the bench, where so his mindset's a little bit off. You have Lee back still in, in Foxborough, you know, running on the field, running sprints. Mm-hmm. Um, so they're not at full strength. Nemeth wasn't he- uh, healthy all, most of preseason. And then Philly... I think they're still trying to figure things out. They were, you know, adamant about finding a number 10, which they did, but he didn't play. And then you see Fontana step in, and it's like maybe he didn't have to spend all that money because, you know, he, he can grow if he plays, but now he needs to play. And when that guy comes back healthy, he's going to be on the bench kind of just twiddling his finger. So um, I think Philly is a team that's going to grow and they're going to get better. And, and I think that um, hopefully all the youth – starts to get experience and, and they'll Yeah, big confidence make a boost for them to yeah. be doing so well in yeah, that opening game. Julie, you came from the West Coast. You're now in New York City. Yeah. Let's go back to the West Coast. We have a comment here about <laughs> San Jose Earthquakes. A 3-2 win <laughs> on opening day for the Quakes. J.D. McCall, what's up, man? He says, look, he listened to our preview, Extra Time Radio, once again. Subscribe, listen, Mondays and Thursdays. He was not happy with us because he said we had been bagging on the Quakes for basically the entire preseason or just not talking about them. We showed and you then, love. I know. All four of us picked them go to the playoffs. That's how we show love. I know. That we're out here yelling at each other, but we have so much love. Right. Not Look, really. Yeah, it's not true. Jesse yeah. Fornelli, though, he changed this whole team over. And, like, the one guy you don't change over, though, is Wando. Wando, no. Wando, <laughs> Wando, Julie. Yeah, Wando is, I guess, in a way – our MLS David Villa and that he just keeps that's a really good I um, love that comparison. keeps being really good even though he gets old right mm-hmm. like you see that comparison right I there got you. I'm science feeling you. science good finisher, <laughs> like anatomy. yeah like anatomy see where the science um, yeah, yeah. yeah we're, we're on the same page <laughs> there you go. but yeah no I think it's uh, what an exciting first game I mean I'm sure that there was a lot of discussion afterwards in terms of how that game ended up <laughs> in having the lead and blowing it but that was the game at the end of the season last year decision day which was also wildly wildly exciting and San Jose is a team I know people say we sort of dismiss them and whatnot but but it's hard. Uh, now being on the East Coast where everyone's sort of in the same area and so easy to get to, you think of the West Coast, you do think of Seattle, Portland, LA Galaxy, and now LAFC, and it's like, oh, yes, San Jose <laughs> yeah. is also there, too. And but, Vancouver. And Vancouver. Canada's a completely different yeah, story. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, imp- very impressive performance. And you never want to um, let go of a lead like that, but if you can – Get the points, then who cares? That's what's up. San Jose's former coach is probably the answer to this question that we have coming in right now. Thank you so much for joining with us. Uh, from Julie, which head coach no. is the most curse words no, on the sideline? No, not, not, uh, not gonna Dom have. Kinnear was very <laughs> uh, vocal. I would say Peter Vermees is numero uno on that, <laughs> but mostly towards the fourth official. And I mean, those fourth officials deserve an award because they get Oh, yeah, just, they get hammered. Oh, they get hammered. That's basically their job, right? They're the lightning rod. I mean, it's like you stick them out yeah, in a storm. They're kind of like know. this relationship counselor or whatnot between the two. And then sometimes, you know, 
Um, Carl Robinson, I remember, was going at Brian Schmetzer in the playoffs, and the fourth official's like caught in the middle, and it's always weird, but it's exciting. Are you, you jumping get, in there? Yeah, you're I was like, about to say, break like, it hey, up, hey, break hey, it up. What uh, would it take to make you a fourth? Like, what would it take for someone to be like, Julie, we need you to be a fourth official? I mean, I basically am, like, at that <laughs> point, right? Like, they're coming up to me and asking me, oh, is that a foul? Like, what are they saying? He, they would say, what's Taylor saying right now? And I'm like, I can't tell you that. Like, and and no matter I, what, know. no matter what the fourth official says, you're never going to miss it. Mean it doesn't, it doesn't do anything. So Jay Heaps, when I was with New England, he would scream at the fourth official like like there's mm. no tomorrow. And the guy, I, I felt so bad for him. He'd always like give a glance over like. <laughs> well, what do we to do, man? Jay, you know the you know the scoop. That's like the deal. nothing's happening. All right, look, we're gonna get the MLS story time in just a second. Remember, extra time radio Mondays and Thursdays. Go download it on iTunes. Subscribe, rate us, come hang out, hit us up with the hot take hotline or via the mailbag. MLSsoccer.com slash mailbag. Thank, Thank you right so now. much for hanging out with us. Let's go to story time, and you guys have plenty of them. Julie, you mentioned mm. Dom Kinnear. Yeah. I've heard a very <laughs> interesting story about you and Dom. You're very close. Oh, well, if you preface it that way. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, um, so it was sort of a, a weird story. When I was working at FS1, we would do meetings kind of like this with players. And Dom... Just play heads up. And, uh, yeah, yeah right, we do heads yeah. up. You know, we, we have fun like that. And so Dom noticed uh, my feet instantly. And he was like, wow, your feet are really tanned. And I mean, to his credit, I had had a spray tan. My feet were really <laughs> tanned and I was like yeah they're tanned right now or whatever and he just like could not stop staring at my feet and then the next day he was like what shoes are you wearing and how are your feet doing and then it became just like this weird sort of storyline of like, like it is a very good word to <laughs> use there. like a foot fetish yeah yeah so i mean it was, just, it. it was all in jest it was all it was all fun all, you know all that but that was sort of i guess the weirdest thing um is when during the game you know he looks at me and he's like how are your feet doing and you're like wow that's... i thought you had so many other things <laughs> yeah. that you were focused on like... <laughs> So that was that was certainly a weird yeah. moment. What's Caleb Porter's on the other side being like, what's the deal with Julie's feet? Yeah. Now everyone's <laughs> now talking about it. Like, he's just trying to throw, he's just trying to throw the is, opposing coach off. I mean, maybe I have weird feet, but I don't think so. I don't, they uh, were just tanned. I'm, I'm not guessing. And Dom what's Kinnear might have been weird. What is it like to <laughs> catch a coach when he's in a weird moment? Because like, Not I, great. I think not usually great. <laughs> you're, you're trying to grab the guys. Like, the guy's in the booth. They can talk about the game. It's all good. But you're the one who has to be the wrangler who goes and yeah. talks to, say, like a – a Tata Martino after he gets run off the field for nothing, or after a referee call has Peter Vermees like going through the roof. Jay Heaps has nine guys on the field. Yeah, yeah. Um, I would That's say. That's last year for the last <laughs> second half of the year. The biggest one. One thing that comes to mind when you say that is I remember. As a sideline reporter, you have to be very willing and capable to adapt to that moment and be so aware of your surroundings. Because sometimes you can fall into the trap of, of thinking what your question's gonna be and then sticking to that. But it's like, if you notice something, that's your instantly your first question. I remember Brad Evans and Caleb Porter were yelling at one another right as the whistle blew like two seasons ago. And I was grabbing Caleb and I just said, what are you guys yelling about? And he's like, nothing and so then you have to be like ready to go into your next question so right. all right you're down one nil you know but just be aware be observant and you have to ask those questions yeah. if you don't ask those questions then what's the point of you being there that's a very good point have you ever <laughs> right? had any come back to uh but have you ever been somewhere and someone brings up a question that you asked uh Coach player. um i don't think so like that's very mm. good to hear. I can't remember. We're going to get to Charlie. He's got some great ones. But, Julie, I mean, you're owning this. Your Twitter profile picture oh, yeah. is the infamous shot from the 2016 second leg of the Eastern Conference Finals. We've got yeah. the footage here. <laughs> what happened? Yeah, you know what? I actually got... <laughs> Looks like you went through a car wash. I got a message from, like... Uh, Kai Kamara messaged me and he goes, did you just play in that game? <laughs> Why the hell does your hair look like that right now? And so during that game, because I get asked so many times, people say, what the heck happened to you? It was sort of drizzling the whole time during the game and I had kept putting my hood up and you down like hood. that. Yeah. And for anyone who watches any MLS games and I've been on the sideline, I don't really care what I look like. Like, well, I mean, like, to a certain extent. <laughs> but if it's raining and yeah, storming, like, like, I don't... Work in the elements here. Yeah, yeah. I, no I, open-toed shoes just because you're playing... Yeah. <laughs> I've done... Oh, um, 
I've done opening hits like in Orlando where the rain was coming down and my fake eyelashes were like streaming down oh, my man. face and I'm just battling through it like that. But for that in, in particular, and I'm going up and down like this with, with my hood and my hair just kind of kept going up into a rat's nest. And <laughs> afterwards, I had no idea. It was even 40 minutes after that moment, I still had no idea I looked like that. Like, no one would tell me. And afterwards, I just no checked one. Twitter. Also, you need to yell at some people. Yeah, for that. Oh, yeah, yeah. don't yeah. worry. Absolutely. Shaw Brown yeah, knows. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> so we look at Twitter, and I'm like, wow, I have 500 tweets of my photo looking like an idiot. And we were at dinner afterwards, and we, I was crying laughing because we just, none of us could stop laughing. And my producer at the time, who is great, is um, Shaw Brown. He just said, you know what, Julie, I didn't want to tell you because I knew that you would, you're, you're so in the moment that you're thinking of this interview with Josie Altador, you're not thinking of what your hair looks like. He's like, I, I just assumed you'd say, stop, don't tell me how my hair looks. Right, and I right. said, you know what, in that moment, I might have taken your advice. But anyways, it's, we, we it can was talk, a good we chuckle can talk to afterwards. Julie for like Two hours about this. Because I don't we got, stop talking. I know. We got, well, that's a good thing. That's your job now. Barstool Breakfast, by the way, you can catch her every yes. single morning. Charlie, we were sitting around before this. Uh, yeah. You what, you broke Clint Dempsey's rib. I was, was like it suplexing was, him. Yeah, we were. <clears throat> I was a wrestler, um, and I, I had most no Hampshire thing you could say. <laughs> and wrestler. you know, it was it was a great off season sport to pick up. Uh, I think it, it it benefited me a lot on the soccer field. You don't just get hurt. No. No, he hurts other people. Yeah, yeah. that's where this story is yeah, going. I, I like it. I like it. Uh, uh, so one day we were on the bus heading to RFK before training, and somebody was like, Clint, you know he was a wrestler. And Clint was like, so? Like, I'll wrestle you. <laughs> and so I was like, okay, let's wrestle. So we got off the bus, and we are heading to training. We are walking in the tunnels of RFK, and there's a couple of rats running around. <laughs> and we just start, like, wrestling. And I got him in a bear hug, and I was squeezing him and rolling around. And... Um, you know, what is this before? What type of game? Like a friendly? U.S. national team practice? Yeah, U.S. Yeah. national team. But like a friendly, friendly. World Cup uh, qualifier? It might have been World Cup qualifier. Oh, good. Just <laughs> want to know that our best <laughs> athletes are taking care of themselves. Yeah. So uh, after, you know, he like backed up and I thought like, okay, he's ready to fight. Like, because we, we got like kind of intense and then we calmed down and then after the practice, we would get on the bus and he was like, respect. <laughs> I was like, okay. I don't know. Why, why would people? <laughs> yeah, that's how big a monument. That's, that's the ball. The ball's that's literally the is trying to get away. And then after, later, because we have the same agent, I found out he went to the hospital um, in Seattle and got his ribs checked because he was having pain <laughs> from, from us wrestling. Well, that'll like, that teach would, him, right? That yeah. <laughs> why would somebody try to... Is Dempsey like the you. big dog? Like, is that how the... Dempsey's like a, a, a guy you know he, he's going to give... Give it his all, and he's he's whether he'll, it's he'll roll around, he'll wrestle like he'll, yeah. No, he's not scared of anything, you know. So everyone respects him right, <laughs> right away. So you you got to go after the top dog if yeah, you want to be yeah, the top dog. You have to right? add to show like, hey, <laughs> I might be small, in. but like, target him. I'm tough. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of tough, Guchiang Yewu. Yeah. He he welcomed you to the national team. Yeah. It was like my, a straight out of a an action movie, it's, a it's, bad action it's, movie. It's out of a bad action movie, and I tell him all the time like. Did you really have to do yeah. that? You're not Claude Van Damme, man. It's, it's my first national team camp, um, full, t full team camp. I'm looking around. There's Landon Donovan. There's Demarcus Beasley. There's Carlos Bocanegra. There's Tim Howard. There's Aguchi Onyewu. I'm like, okay, <laughs> I'm going to take this guy on. I'm going to show, like, I got what it takes to be on this team. So I get a through ball, and I'm like, oh, I'm going to have a breakaway. I'm going to score in, like, my first, like, full, time, full team training session. And next thing I know, I get blindsided, like, taken out by Gooch. And I, like, quickly turned to look at Bob, like, you're going to blow the whistle, right? That's a foul. <laughs> and Bob Bradley said nothing. And Gooch walks over and stands over me. He's like, welcome to the national team. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, you know, I thought to myself, at that moment, I'm like, really? <laughs> did, he, did he check, like, the script? He was like, what's my line <laughs> again? Yeah, welcome to the national team, Rook. No one said anything. I was like... Well, I guess that's like my like welcome to the yeah. team. Do you guys like, kind of do that? Not like not hazing, but sort of make guys, guys feel like welcome. Like initiation. Yes. Um, I think back in the those days. The old like, school days. Yeah, the old in school what, days. In what? Two thousand six, <laughs> seven, eight. You know the. Um, yeah, that was. I think it was like initiation, like, and you show like you, you just get spot, on with it. Yeah. yeah, know your spot. You 
pick up the bottles, pick up the cones, mm -hmm. be, the, be the guy that's helping out everyone. The locker room's a strange place, uh, a big part of it, as Charlie knows, and as anybody who watches the LA Galaxy's about the social media before games, mm -hmm. what you wear to the locker room matters because we have you guys here and, you know, you have, you have a good You guys game. are more yeah. fashionable than us. Correct. That's what we're trying to say. That's what I was yeah. trying to say. We have a little bit Notice. of a fashion show we pulled off Instagram for you. We wanted to Lee Wynn, your boy, yes. what do you make of this one, good or bad? Um, I love it. I mean, Lee's taking a lot of pages out of my notebook. Yeah. Oh, yeah? That, <laughs> yeah. That's where yeah. we're looking uh, at your big on the hat right and now? skinny jean. Um, the hat, it, he improvised. I think, gotcha. you know, he, he saw a lot. We got of, some more of Lee, too. That was too. a, a late addition. Him, yeah. Just, just keep us rolling here. Yeah, what else by the we? way, really easy to find creative fashion pictures of Lee Wynn out there. More like, of this. See, yeah, what was, I really like are the shoes. Yeah. Oh, those are great. A little bit of a yeah. slipper, a little bit of a loafer. They're so weird, but they're so cool because yeah. they're weird. <laughs> and his hair, just like every other rev, has a little bit of bleach in it. Yep. Mm -hmm. Once again, though, the hat feels like a crutch to me. Yeah, this one he's forcing. He's forcing mm -hmm. the hat. He he really he loves the hat, which which I, I love. I commend yeah. him because yeah, I yeah. like the hat, but he's forcing it. Kevin wow. Washington forcing nothing here. Ooh, love everything that's about it. That's a photo shoot. That's like. Yeah, that's professional. The, the attitude is what really strikes yeah. you in this one. It's, I mean, but also, like, Kendall Watson like, kind of fits him. Right. Dude's a monster. Mm -hmm. He looks like a and, he, and he looks good. This, oh, wow. yeah. I think this going, is a power couple. Yeah, ugly Once. sweater. Ugly sweater. Uh, is ugly that a sweater or is, is that a turtleneck? Yeah, I, I believe like it is a turtleneck. It can be a little bit of both. It could be a turtle, turtleneck sweater. It's a little the, like hipster Christmas. Looks like somebody should be wrapping a present in that. Yeah, I, I agree. Yeah. Yeah. Josie looks like he was forced to take a picture. Yeah. Happy <laughs> birthday, by the way, to uh Happy birthday, Timmy. Yeah, Tim Howard knows how to get it done. That's a nice suit. The beard game is good. The suit is huge. Yeah, I like it. That's not Tim Howard, but he is the goat. Yeah. What do you make of the beard, though? He's got the goat beard. This guys... is actually kind of scary. I don't know. Yeah, that. Uh, that look at that look. See, so yeah, but he yeah. gives a little smile. Yeah, yeah. yeah, a, little yeah a little smirk. Yeah, yeah. I like that. Kai Kamara, one of the fashion icons. Has yes. the best stuff. He can own it. He, he can I hit do. everything. This I love. Uh, mm -hmm. He's he's bringing the, the African culture yeah. to the field. He can also go a different way, though. He can. He can go to Inspector Gadget. Yeah. Yep. I love his range. You yes. know, nothing is off limits for Kai. And it's always going to be unique and it's always about him. Like, there. So, you know? yeah, the suit feels traditional. Feels like something Alexi was wearing earlier. Uh -huh. The tie, a little different. Yes. Yeah, I, I love the suit and the color. Mm -hmm. um, this yeah, is a romper, he's pushing, he says. He's, he's, yeah. yeah, he's pushing the, the boundaries here, the limits. But that's of, what we love. No, I, I think mean, it's called a jumper. He says it's, it's a romper. Short. Check the hashtag. Uh, no, I think romper. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just Either saying. Julia's the one I'm going to trust on this. Is it long pants yeah. and it's a jumper? He, he got the yeah, Westbrook that. inspiration. Right. This is uh, yeah, yeah, this Westbrook. is from Burning Man. Okay. Oh, God. Man, I'm just kidding. It's not this has so much his, going on. I know. closet must be wild. But that was Vegas, so. This oh, is Kendrick God. Kamara. This is the most fashionable so Kamara. Cool. Love it. That, that yeah. is unreal. Yeah. Baby's clothes are so hip these days. <laughs> I gotta like go talk to Kyle yeah. about he's gonna be He's gonna guy. be one of my uh, twins teammates uh -huh. for sure. Wow. Albert the Lease is a personal uh, favorite nice. in this league for me. The all white look, you uh -huh. like it? I do because I mean depends when Houston during the year though I Good. mean yeah it's Houston though it's always hot you know it's a denim all white <laughs> I like it I like good. it it's as long as stuff. it's I like before Labor Day we're good yeah okay so flat on the black mm -hmm. yeah that's great uh, it does also we like everything I know I was about to say I also like that he takes the picture in front of the same brick right. wall we know if yep. you can like do some you know an apartment <laughs> that's complex like you live there or something. Then he goes a little hipster with it. Okay. Well, you know. Yeah, he's, he's switching it And he here. goes to the games to like that? This is LA. This is Hollywood. Uh huh. Yeah. And we also, of course, did it. some digging. Uh, this is interesting with the writing across the front. I like yeah. it, though. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Oh, nice. Huh. This, I Who's don't know. That? I, Who's that guy? I don't know, man. The denim <laughs> vest? <laughs> the yeah. denim yeah. vest? <laughs> the denim. I think hey. that's questionable. It works. It works. Look at the pipe, though, man. Yeah. Like, showing them off. This might be your best look from Instagram. Yeah, it's it's one second of the from the right. That's Charlie. Yeah, of course it's Charlie. I, Everyone gets yeah. I, I created that myself. And denim. That was your idea. Yeah, that was my nice. idea. The minions. Yeah, uh, I mean, I created the costumes and everything. Oh, really? Oh, like oh. you, no. you hot <laughs> in. Gullible guys. He's joking. Really? Yeah. Oh, that is the best one. You see? Okay, yes. I started at a young age. Already the throwback. knew fashion. <laughs> the throwback. Yeah, you can teach us a lot about fashion, Charlie. But I think one of the things you can teach us about. 
more than anything else, which you've already done for Julie. Thank you so much for that. It's celebrations, and I am, mm -hmm. I'm going to try to just give you an idea for your new career. you got a lot of doors opening for you, but mm -hmm. celebration consultant. Yes. Anthony Fontana is your first subject yes. in MLS because he can't figure out what mm -hmm. he wants to do. He's mashing all the buttons in FIFA, but you got us in front of you. Absolutely. Give us a try, man. This is big for Help our brand. Yeah, yes. I'm, big for the brand. I'm, I'm almost never going to score a goal. Seth McComber wants to know, uh, he wants Charlie to score some celebrations from the weekend, especially Kai Kamara's. He also wants to know what goes into planning a celebration. Yeah. We ha How does this go about? Like um, so normally, obviously, every, uh, with every goal comes the magnitude of the goal, the, the situation, the so timing. So if it's like 3-0 and you score the fourth and it's a tap-in, you don't, you don't break out a good one. That's what I would say, gotcha. but I've been guilty of of doing a stanky leg yeah. uh, to make it 4-0, and Bob Bradley yells at me after. Wow. Inside. Can you show like us? Coach Carter. I yeah. just want to see in person like some of, of, uh, of yours. So we're going to show some of what you do. You can walk us through what you were thinking here. Okay. DC. This was a, a, yes. a very memorable You're trying to clear it out. Though. That's the debut yeah. of the stanky yes. leg. Yes. Look at Andy yes. Nahar, too. Oh. He was getting and into again. it. And again. Uh-huh. Yes. Okay. And this, again. this was a go-to for you. Yeah. You knew what you liked. Everyone knew you were going to do it, right? So they just stayed away. How many? <laughs> How many of these? Uh, uh, Lincoln and Bernie? Bernie? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. yeah. Uh, the Carlton? Yeah. 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 Yes. Uh, I'm not sure. What is that? I'm a little Let's teapot, teapot. Oh. short and stout. That's actually what that was. <laughs> yeah. And this one, this one didn't work out for you. What yeah. happened? Oh, you thought you were going to get. Look at that. Yeah, that, that was a fail. The hat trick. Yep. Take it off. Um, so, but they. they the, the doors were unlocked on that car the day before in practice, so I thought, oh, money. I get in there, honk the horn, epic. So you practice. And it was against LA Galaxy, and you know, I'm playing against David Beckham for the first time. I'm like, this is a big time celebration. Got it. Yeah. And I go, and, and then the, you get shut down. The door's locked. And I just kind of just try to improvise, okay. but there's nothing you can do at that point. All right, be our consultant, Charlie. All right. Who are you starting with? I, th I have to start with you. <sighs> I'm, I'm a little afraid here. No, but I'm ready. this is I'm easy. I'm ready. All right, what do you got? Um, what do you got? When I see you, you know, you're tall, good That's form, yeah. good Ooh. stature. I think. I like where this is going. Yeah. I like good, this. I'm, like, as you say this, I'm, yeah. like, I'm straightening up a little bit. Instantly, robot. Okay. I think right. it's, uh, okay. It's, so it's, so it's, a, it's a little bit of like. You can even like take it a little step forward and. Get, oh, it, there. You're, you're, oh, you're already got it. We just got feet yeah. going. Look at you. Go. Okay. Okay. You got right. it. I'm gonna save my. I'm gonna save my best. I know. I was very scared. You had no idea. I thought it was gonna be bad. What do you got for them? Um. So, we'll we'll leave the okay. best for last. Obviously. Oh, um, yeah. Okay. And I was thinking for you because you said like, you know, rhythm is comes to you naturally. I have no rhythm. <laughs> <laughs> I have none. Let's do this. All right. So I was just thinking like you're just gonna. Ooh. Okay. Oh, yes. You gotta get a little bit more. I, I, yes. I'm not Charlie. Oh, so you gotta go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Save, save, save it for the goal. Save it for the goal. Okay. A little bit more knee movement. Yeah, a little more knee. Uh, yeah. Sorry. All right. Guys, I'm not very jelly. We're, gotcha. We're, gotcha. we're already gotcha. analyzing it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and for you, <laughs> um, it was just like one of these. Oh, okay. So what's that called? I don't know. The old. The, you know what I think would if if Julie scores <laughs> a goal. Go. Wow. You know what I think if Julie scores a goal, you need to get Charlie on your team yeah. to come over and pretend to be the like. Then you oh, get interviewed. Yeah. You yeah, switch yeah. the role. Right. I like that one too. So that when one, I yeah. make my MLS debut. I yeah. score my. Yeah. 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 Okay. Good. Like, all right. Well, I guess we're supposed to practice these. Yeah, all right. Let's get let's a go. goal. Uh, we're going to cue a goal up here. <laughs> of course, we didn't score any, and I probably never will. We'd be staring at me like I'm about to score a goal. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, get I ready. Could. Celebrate Ooh. like you would. Roll the tape. Prepare yourselves mentally, everyone. Julie, get the hamstrings and the yeah, quads. I'm going to pull a hammy by the way. I mean, the, uh, mo you know, the suspension is killing me here. Okay. Uh, All 18. Do it. Do it. Woohoo! Oh, my God. Extra time live, oh. driven by Kyle. Oh, taking biggest ourselves as seriously as possible here. <laughs> the celebration Charlie. show. Thank you so much, Charlie, for helping yeah, us out. Uh, next time I score a goal, I'm set. I'm good to go. My favorite part about that, by the way, was how entertained you were by your own celebrations watching them. <laughs> <laughs> like you were like, "Oh, that's funny." <laughs> they were good. And how I was did like, you, yeah. "How did you workshop the good ones? Like, what the best? The best celebrations come from where?" Uh, I get inspired from watching social media, movies, um, old music videos. Um, like it has to be timely, right? 
Yeah, normally, yeah. I like, like I what's like, in exactly. What's style, That's what you want to like that whole. Yeah, backpack kid. You yeah. know, like yeah. Show oh. us the backpack kid. Like, <laughs> I can't do it. Oh, no, come on. You were doing come it. On. No, I can't. Come do on, it. I'll, do it. I can't. Do All right, it. here's some other celebrations. What do you think of these? The Luke Mahal oh. and handsome Luke. He tried oh. to grind. Oh. Oh. Yeah. He tried to do the soap grind. Yeah. yeah. La Pantarita. What do you like? You like the Pantarita? I do. That's I a like great it a lot. It says he's gonna retire. It's like digital Takawera. Yeah. Nice. Digi. Yeah, it's a good throwback. Your boy. Yeah, Diego. And then, I mean, I, see, just, I, I love the flip, but I'm, I was always so jealous because I couldn't do it myself. So have I'm, you ever flip? tried? I, I ne yeah, but it's not good. <laughs> Don't you think, you guys just try oh. that on the spot. They're like, I'm going for it. Bam. Oh, um, you have to they, be able to no, do that. No, they've, yeah. they've, they've practiced. practiced. Oh, yeah, ah. for sure. But Dom gets the most air, so obviously his looks the best. What is the celebration, Charlie, that you had in the hopper that you were thinking about that you wanted to unveil? Good question. That there was just never a good time or you just had to, you know, you, you retired and now it's a men's league one or you just think about it all the time. He's what basically asking, what's the one that's gonna haunt your dream? Right, yeah, exactly. Yeah, the one that's gonna haunt me. Um, something uh, that, that I would be able to do with my twins watching. Nice. So that, that, that will be, uh, Something that would that I would think about is like doing a celebration, scoring a goal in front of them, and doing a celebration for them to see. And, and what, would it be double? Can you do the I'd, double? I'd, baby? I'd be doubles. I'd be past yeah. the whole like the rocking because yeah. yeah. these guys are going to be like you know, biggins. Yeah, big. big <laughs> we got a question coming in. Thank you so much for joining us here next time live. By the way, Cameron Smith, uh, looking ahead. We had Alexi, we had Rob, we had uh, Fiore in here. He wants to know what MLS player will have a breakout tournament in the World Cup, Julie. Who you taking? Um, I had a couple that I was thinking of. I mean, I just love Ramon Torres. I mean, Who we saw what he Ramon did Torres. for Panama. He's, I mean, sorry, it's, I guess, a little weird. Um, <laughs> 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 All right, yeah. let's forget about what that meant. But, yeah, uh, Ramon Torres from MLS Cup 2016 to uh, getting Panama to their first World Cup to then also Laurent Simon. Um, I think for Belgium, he has you know, been a force on that back line, and I think he could do well because he's been playing with them. And then uh, Marco Urena, who uh, obviously has also been a guy who can score a clutch goal in a clutch moment. You just like, so your you tactic just, was to pick everyone. Pick who, everyone and also man, everyone who broke U.S. hearts. Yeah, yeah, you know, I'm still Canadian, yeah. technically. Pan-American, so, I mean, huh? Pan-American. <laughs> uh, Dave, who's yours? <laughs> um, it was tough, and as usual, we had the same one, so I had to... <laughs> what are you talking about? You trying to jump on my train? No, hey. Don't call it your train. I went with Kendall Waston. Oh, I think yeah. similar That's to Roman Torres, he's big, he's a personality, but also the way that Costa Rica team is set up, we saw defensively how big of a star that back line was at the last World Cup. I think they've got a shot to, to do some damage again this time. And, I mean, who's going to get by that? Like, who wants to deal yeah. with that? You talk about seeing Zlatan in person and Gooch, and, I mean, this guy's pretty impressive. Charlie, who are you taking, man? And, yeah, he was also a tough defender to play against, so... He, that's a good pick. Um, my pick is a little bit of a sleeper pick. I think it's Omar Gaber from the right ah. back from oh, LAFC. Dave's not sleeping on that you one. Know, Big Egypt you, you're, you're play with Mohamed, uh, you know, you're playing with Mohamed Salah, and, yeah. and he's, he's on fire right now. Their group is not that difficult. Um, Egypt is a good team, you know, getting a chance to play against yeah. them in um, 2009. And they, they, score maybe? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. They, 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 uh, they could be the surprise of the tournament, and he could have a breakout tournament. Yeah. I want to say, I, Dave, I did not hear you say Ronald Moderita once, so I don't think that you tried to you, steal I, mine. You're going to tell me I've never said Ronald Moderita's not name once, ever? Not once, never. Never heard you talk about him. That's mine on the left side for the Ticos. Look, he didn't play in the first game. Ben Sweat had a nice game for NYCFC, but this guy is electric going forward. I think he's one to watch, especially if he has a good tournament. Does yeah. New York City get offers they can't refuse for him? They have been swept behind him, so it could be a situation where you take advantage, kind of like Jack Harrison. But what I was not able to ask, Alexi, Rob, Fernando, they're doing a World Cup without the U.S. in it. Yeah. Like, that's... Yeah, that sucks. Does it put... <laughs> yeah. That's a real does it put power. a damper on it? We have a question about the World Cup coming in. <laughs> Um, about the national team. Unfortunately, they're not in the World Cup, which is killing us. Kevin Case, who's a hot take ever watching most of TSC Columbus. Greg Burhalter leads them to Cup. Matt Doyle would agree with that. Then, Chris, he leaves for Austin. I don't know about that one. That's up in the air. And Burhalter leaves to become new U.S. national team manager. Greg Burhalter as U.S. manager, what do we think? I don't think it's ridiculous. Yeah. Like, I think it's very, could be very likely to happen just be wondering when they would want to name that manager because if it's 
within, if it's next year. Like, if they win MLS Cup, I think very likely chance he gets it. But he, Good point about timeline. Yeah, they may right? have. The timeline's going to be weird sure. for any MLS coach right now. Mm -hmm. It seems like they're going to wait till after the World Cup to see those names, so there's a chance that he gets the mm -hmm. job but still finishes the season. Yes. If it is an MLS coach, sorry, that they finish this season, right? If you're on that run, maybe you stay with it. He's in the conversation, like you said, for sure, but it's like 50 people at this point. Yeah. Everyone, I, this, oh, like, I don't know that I am. Charlie might be in Charlie's a better person. He's, yeah. he's, he's a great tactician. Um, you know, I've I've gotten the chance to, to to have a couple of conversations with him, and you know he's coached in Europe at my old former club, Hammerby in Sweden. Um, and what he's done with Columbus, the the transformation of of getting them to play the way he wants to play, out of the back, which every MLS team thought was impossible, and they and they, it was pretty rough in the beginning, but they they eventually got got it down, and they've been very very um, good at playing out of the back and keeping possession and winning games. And I could definitely see him as a, as a strong candidate mm -hmm. to take over the. Lynn and Donovan had strong feelings about what the national team needed in a coach. Mm -hmm. What are your feelings? I I understand Landon where he's coming from. Uh, a U.S. coach would definitely understand the U.S. player and and what it takes to to get to that level and how they're developed and the mindset. Um, but you can't rule out the possibility of, of getting a Mourinho or you know a, a Guardiola, especially as someone who understands the game and, and can really break it down and 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 develop these young American players. So um, if you get a candidate that makes sense, like Greg Berhalter, who's developed and wins the MLS Cup mm -hmm. and and he has the pedigree to, to take over, has some European experience, not just coaching but playing Correct. as well. Playing and 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 coaching, um, great. But if not, and you can get a, 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 player, a coach like Guardiola. You go for it. I have a question, and not the easiest one, but you know, you missed out on the World Cup for different reasons. The guys that just lost, have you talked to them about it? Did you reach out? I know you're close with a lot of them about mm -hmm. just dealing with the idea of, you know, now this thing's gone? Absolutely. Um, Alejandro Bedoya, who's one of my best friends, um, you know, he's sitting next to me in the locker room, and, and he was so disappointed. And it wasn't the fact that they didn't make the World Cup, it was the fact that all the children across the United States don't have this yeah. tournament to watch and, and try and be a part of and, and, and make them become bigger fans of the game. Yeah. And, and that's what drew, drew me to the game, the 1994 World Cup. And so kids that are growing up won't have that same inspiration. Yeah, it's tough. That was what I really felt after this, was that sense of loss, this communal event. Because I think about the Landon Donovan's goal against Algeria. I was in Power and Light in Kansas City, and it just felt like this moment that everyone who was there would remember forever mm -hmm. and would kind of pull you, and you would gravitate toward this thing. And I have. My, my life is basically based around it. I know a lot of people there the same way. We have more questions coming in. We're almost done here. Uh, this on David Villa here. Weeby's tweet about Ike and David Villa in a 1v1 scenario. I basically said, I'll take David Villa 1v1 events. Just about every defender in the world had me questioning, which is harder, defending a really good attacker or for an attacker to get past a really good defender? Charlie, do you have an opinion here? <clears throat> I think it's, it's much more difficult for a on a defender. Uh, to try and defend a, a very good attacker is, is <laughs> extremely difficult. I've tried defending, yeah. and it, it's not for me. So I, I would definitely think defenders have, have a, a tougher job. All right, we have one more round of heads up. I had this to do like it. I did, infinity we, round yeah. we, before the championship. No, this is the uh, Weebies hosting, so he changes the rules so right. his team has a so chance. So like what, last goal wins? Is yeah. that for yeah. sure? Oh, last so, goal wins? So yeah. the first yeah, sure. two didn't count for you guys? Okay, we're going to do a minute this time just to make it a little bit longer and a little more interesting. We already won. Yeah, Why are we doing it again? Yeah, that's, one, that's one version <laughs> of the story. You guys see the people's champ once again. <laughs> the people's it's champ. my show. Yeah, yeah. We'll do it my way. Yeah, yeah. that's fine. You ready? Um, Five, no four, pressure. No three, two, one, go. Uh, he's an owner of LAFC who's a comedian. Will Ferrell. Oh, Most hilarious layup. one ever. Uh, national anthem of the country I'm from. Oh, Canada. <gasps> um, it's what the Red Bulls do. It's their system. It's where they don't let you play out of the back and they come up. Press. High press. Oh, these are like they were um, made for it's, you guys. Yeah. Uh, it's not in front, but it's. Um, in back? Back line? Uh, no, it's it's. The pressure's behind? Be the yeah. yeah. Behind what? Um, what's going on? Where the ball behind is? Behind the scenes? And, no. It's, behind it's, the ball? Uh, no. What, what's the ball? What does what the ball does do? Yeah. Uh, behind the play? Yeah. No. Yeah. Okay, that's four. That's, that's four. Um, it's what we all want MLS teams to do, and we talked about with the Philadelphia Union of, of youth. Um, gr growing the homegrowns. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Sort of. They play specific... the American. Play the young kids. Perfect. I will give you wow. That. Yeah, that's, you just that's crushed fun. that. Um, 
Uh, the old stadium DC United used to play in, and there was animals in there. Raccoons. Oh! Raccoons of RFK. Time, 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 time. Okay. We get to do yeah, one Just more. do it. That doesn't count, though. Uh, that doesn't count. I want you to know. He that. wrestled this guy, and he has a famous uh, look Clint that he's done. So if you take his nickname, if you take his nickname, right? Yeah. And then you take, um, he made yeah, this out of Defender. Nickname? Uh, Clint uh, Dempsey's. Okay, those, yeah. Those were so, so easy. You know, yeah, and then he made this look let's as switch, someone. Let's switch this face. It doesn't count. I didn't know how to get to face. <laughs> Let him finish. I'm yeah. sorry. We're Why just, does it not count? Yeah. It doesn't count. The front part of your head. You have 14. You got six in that round. <laughs> how many, how many <laughs> do we have? <laughs> Remind me how many we have right now. What is the... Uh, what was that? Eric, can we get a count oh, here? behind the play. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> okay Charlie. <laughs> All right. Okay, so you guys... Hey, listen, we're up by nine, yeah. so we're going to give you 17 minutes, and we think you guys have a chance of getting close. Let's, yeah. Are there even nine cards here? I think, Yeah, okay. we'll, we'll be good. Yeah, there's plenty of oh, cards. Yeah. All right, Don't here we go. You'll be fine. Don't worry about everyone else. Just worry about yourself. We're that good. Is, we're good. Five, four, three, two, one, go. The greatest player of Argentina's history. Uh, Maradona. Uh, it's when you, at the, at the back end of CONCACAF qualifying, the last thing that happens, the you're in X. the... Yes. Hex. Yep. Um, the last minute of a game and you Stop score. Stoppage time. Uh, late winner, game winner. Late winner? Yeah. yeah okay. Oh. Um, in CONCACAF Champions League, clubs do this all the time. It's because when you uh, just pass on this one, actually. It's too hard. <laughs> um, he's a player for Orlando, traded from Red Bull, and he has so hair across his uh, upper first lip. question. And his up, upper lip, the hair across his upper uh, lip. Mustache. So, yeah. Question's mustache. Yeah. You guys are at um, you did. You scored a goal here. It was an awesome one. We talked about it. Best day. Yes. Ooh, I'm um, right. It's the, the, the second team for Union. Uh, Bethlehem Steel. Um, it's, a, it's a formation that Jason Christ played at RSL. 4-4-2? Yeah, but what's, what's the, the middle four, part? 4-4-2 four, diamond. Uh, yeah. diamond. Four, three. I mean, that two, counted. That counted. Five. Go, go. Uh, no, that no. does not count. That was no after chance. the one. That was after. We were rolling, though. Well, no. What do we got here? No, you didn't get that one, though. That was too late. That was too, that was too All right. late. All right. Thank you so much. <laughs> Julie, thank Good you job. for joining Good us. Job. Charlie, <laughs> we tried. Hard. We tried. Yeah. All right, that's it for Extra Time Live, we driven by Todd Little. <laughs> Tune in to Extra yeah. Time Radio. We'll be back we in April, late time. April. We'll be at Bank of California Stadium. Dave and I will be checking out the new digs for LAFC. See ya. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Till next time.